Yeah, I don't know if you know or not, but there's some TikTok news. Well, first of all, I've never been a TikToker. Um, I uploaded my first TikTok video ever, and I got, you know, a few hundred views on it from my first TikTok ever, video ever. And so, I guess TikTok's like, okay, YouTube, you're going to compete with me on, compete with us on, on your short videos, so we're going to compete right back. So now they've increased their time, I believe last month, to 10-minute videos. I'm like, oh, now I'm interested because I do like to upload my Bible videos and stuff in various platforms. So, and I, I'm especially upset with YouTube because they keep turning off my comments in various types of videos. And it's just so rude and they just won't stop it. And I've complained about it and they just won't, like, hear me. So, okay. Now... I, it's probably harder to get monetized on um, TikTok. Um, you have to have 10,000 followers based on whatever it recently. So I'm just going by that. And over 100,000 views in the last 30 days. So I don't know how hard it is to get 10,000 followers, but I imagine it'll probably take a while. But they do pay pretty good. So for um, the what you can get paid. For 100,000 views, you can earn 200, for 100,000 views, if you have people with 100,000 followers, which that's a lot, usually makes 200 to 1,000. They're not saying you have to have 100,000 followers to get monetized. They're just averaging what people with that amount of followers so I don't know I don't see anything on if you just have like say 12,000 followers you have to have 10,000 followers and 100,000 views over the last 30 days to get monetized so I don't see any like earnings for you know that level so they're just averaging like if you have 100,000 followers you can make 200 to 1,000 dollars a month now I don't know in comparison what you can make on YouTube there seems like a lot of varying videos about that and if you have 1 million followers, you can earn up to 5,000 monthly, which I think you could probably make more just based on videos I've seen over the years on YouTube if you have a million followers. But I've seen people with a million, I, I, like, I was watching a video yesterday, I had like 15 million followers and didn't even have two, over 200,000 views that used to get millions of views. So, you know, I don't... I, I, I don't know what the current status is on that. However, I don't know how the algorithm is. That's why I wanted to test and do some videos. So my my first videos that I uploaded got hundreds of views. And I'd never been on TikTok before. That was my literally my first no followers, no nothing, just uploaded a video and I got over 400 views. So I don't know if that's good for TikTok. I just know that I can't really get any views like I used to on YouTube. I used to get thousands of views. I wouldn't even try. But everything's changed. And they keep turning my comments off and throttling me. Anyways. But, so, if you're a TikToker, comment below, like, what what is your experience with their algorithm? Um, and, anyways. I, I just like that it's, not, you know, because of the fact that they have up their game and increase video time to 10 minutes that opens doors i like to have my bible videos you know various platforms and um so that's kind of nice i'm not going to give out my tiktok handle at this time because i'm just experimenting and i don't know if i'm gonna i don't do multiple platforms i don't just don't have time you know to keep up with oh my gosh i just no i can't but i want to just experiment with it so i do think that they're probably going to be growing if they're going into the longer video um you know they're going to be i guess growing and and extending that and i will tell you that youtube's live stream platform is definitely better than facebook's facebook's is awful i'm sorry facebook i'm not trying to be mean but you know, I've plat I've live streamed in different places, and I do think that YouTube has a, a competitive live stream platform, with the exception of them graying out my live chat replay, and with the exception of they don't share the the view hour. Like they they can put ads on whatever they want, but I think that they should share 
the live stream should be, we should get watch time. We should get public watch hours for that. And we don't get anything until after it converts. Now, I did read recently that they had a whole bunch of people's watch hours went down because they didn't tell them. And this is just an article I read that the unlisted videos there's a lot of people that have unlisted videos and i'm one of those people okay i have several hundred i have over 700 probably close to 800 now videos and a lot of mine are set to unlisted because i just share 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 stuff with certain groups of people and so none of those views are counted towards your public watch time and i think that's unfair because when people come to an unlisted video and they're putting ads on it why shouldn't you i i just think that's a little unfair but what happened was when all those you know watch time hours went down and they investigated you know these watch group people or whatever and they inquired they found out that the unlisted videos were no longer going to get public watch time hours and i think they should have made an announcement about that and told them but they didn't and i think that YouTube needs to improve the following things. One, they need to allow unlisted videos. We should get watch time hours for it. I can understand why private <laughs> videos wouldn't, obviously. Um, but if it's unlisted and you have a lot of people watching it, like let's say you have an unlisted video and you share it with the church or you sh you know you share it with uh, veterans groups or you know or businesses and you only but there could be a lot of people watching it. You know what I mean? So th I just think that's wrong. You should get the credit for it. And then the, um, so the unlisted, they need, they need to give that back to us. And when you're live streaming and you have a lot of people come into that, that live stream, whether it's unlisted or not, and they're putting ads, why shouldn't you get that credit towards your watch, public watch time hours and monetize? You know, it's just, I think they need to improve that. And I'm hoping that by what TikTok is doing by increasing the time on videos to 10 minutes and maybe YouTube will up their game and, and you know, give us some watch public watch hours on our unlisted videos and on our live streams. That's what my hope is. But in any ways, what do you think? If I get a few hundred um, views on my first TikTok video, is that is that average? Is that good? I mean, I certainly can't get that now on YouTube. I used to. Anyways, your comments. Thank you. Oh, I think I put a clue word in here. I'm going to put a clue word. Um, uh, m butterfly. Yeah, that's the clue word. <laughs> so, and if you have TikTok, um, I'm not going to give out the handle right now. Um, I'm just experimenting, but I may at some time. But I am curious just to know how many people are also TikTokers that are my subscribers.